Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator here in Boulder Canyon. Just looking at what we've got here. It looks like we've got another full pallet of wool here, actually. And if we look on here, it's saying exactly 10,000 litres. We've got one full there and one full here. We've got some part pallets here as well. And the current price for wool, we know that the Silage is good, 327, but wool is also good at 1,063. So once we've sold all of these silage bales we got over here, we will also sell all of the wool at the same time. And then we will bring back the empty pallets and we'll put them back over there. So for now, we want to start loading this up. We have got the round bale selected. So we just press U, uh, U to start auto loading like that. And... We need to get a little bit closer in. Okay. No, that's not actually... Yes, it is. So why did I have more last time I did this? Right, you can see right there, I got two bales more than I've got right now. Definitely put more bales on. Um, I've just jackknifed the tractor around. It definitely loaded more than that last time round. Okay, that's very peculiar. I don't know why it's done that. Uh, we'll unload onto the trailer like that, and I'll put them down. And Oh, no, unless I picked up two bales from the back, which is why it didn't pick up two bales from here. That might have been, that, that might be what it's done. Right, so now we've got these bales on here. I do want to have them on the trailer because I want to see if we can actually get them around this corner here. Because this road here is not very even going around the sheep. Um, it's it's quite sort of leaning to one side on that little bit over there, which is, is not great. I really like the idea, though, of having a trailer that does run the bales like this. The other one was all right, but the way that it loaded the bales up was... It, it wasn't particularly realistic, especially for silage bales. I didn't think that was a particularly good way of doing it. Um... It's not actually trying to take the bales from me, even though I've got them loaded onto the trailer right here. It's not trying to extract them from... Oh, it's it's just taken a couple there. It's not really done very much. It's taken... Yeah, it's taken two bales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back that bad boy up like that, right there. To the very edge of it like that and then I'm going to load those bales on and I'll stop loading now and then I press B which is going to put the thing out to the side and then I press B again and that's going to unload behind and just to be on the safe side I'm going to move the marker up just like that you can see it's coming up there there's there's the the mesh oh it's, it's way up in the air up there up there now uh, J M Marker original position, down is N. So I want to just bring that down like that, and we'll put them to there like that. So now if I press Y, it will unload, and it will take the whole lot off right there. 36,672,000 dollars in bales right there. We haven't sold all of them yet. We've got more bales to sell. Next time we go and sell the bales here at this field, we will get even more than we've gotten this time round, which means that we'll get even more money, which will be just fantastic. So we've got another load right here, which I'm going to bring. I'm not going to bother unloading these because there's only a few on there and this is just going to be a quick thing. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drive up alongside it like this. Uh, I press U to stop loading. I press B to bring them out to the side like that so that then... They should just move out to the side there. I press Y like that. There we go. We've got another 17,000 in sold bales right there. So this sell point, it doesn't like unload all the way out. Like, um, it, it doesn't like, unload all the way up. So it sort of, you've got to unload the bales onto the sell point in order to get it to work. But we've got a huge chunk of money from that lot there, which is absolutely fantastic. We're now going to go next, uh, mission pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules, pallets, like that. I'm going to press U, and I'm going to get those pallets on there. Let me turn the wheel a minute. Am I going to get that other pallet? I want to get that last one. 
This is not the best way to go about doing this. I realise this. And I probably should have this on 30 times speed while I'm doing... Because I am, I am technically... I'm, I'm loading, aren't I? I'm, I'm making a pig's ear of the job, but I am technically <laughs> actually loading. And I'm, I'm struggling with this particular... I, I don't know if it's the tractor, whether it's the, the slow steering, or it's just the really short dolly on this trailer. But I am definitely struggling with this trailer. More than I normally struggle with a dolly on a trailer. I think it's partly the the short um, length of the hitch on it. But that does seem to make it a little bit more difficult. Also, I'm just generally struggling with it. There, right. I've got it. I've actually got it loaded. So I will bring this over. And again, I'm not going to bother unloading it. I'm just going to bring it over like this. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go up onto the side because at the moment it's still loading. So it's, it's on. Technically, it's part of the trailer. It's not part of anything else. But if I bring that one over like that there, and then I press B, it'll put the pallets up there. So I do that. Why is it not selling? Right. Definitely not selling the wool for some reason. I don't quite know why it's not selling it properly. But it's definitely not selling the wool. Let me try going a little bit closer. I'll try loading it again. See if I can do something with that. I'll pull that onto the trailer. And then... Oh, I need to stop it and then we'll unload to here. Right, it's done it again. It's not lo it's it's not loading it properly. I don't quite know why. There. I'm having to like chuck the stuff yeah, it's, it's it's definitely being a bit strange. And it it really doesn't like the idea of selling this wool. This is is not removing it from the thing. We'll spin round and we'll try this again. We're going from this direction. Um, but it might be it just doesn't like the whole trailer method of doing this. So I'll bring that down to there and then I will stop the load. And then I want to put that to there. And I also want to move this one in a bit. So we want to go move the marker left. Is that way. Uh, move the marker right is that one right. Oh, that's, that's as far to the right as I can move the marker. So I'll bring it over here a bit, maybe, and... Oops. Yeah, let me try that. No, it's it's literally it's stopping. Every time I do it, it's, it puts it out and then it stops. And it doesn't allow me to just straight away load them back up again. It struggles... Oh, now it's doing it. It did it there with one of the pallets. And... Oh, I unloaded it onto the trailer there, and that works. So maybe I do need to unload those pallets onto the trailer. Maybe that's just a thing that I've got to do. I've got to unload them onto the trailer. It might be. It might be a thing. It might be a strange quirk of the wool pallets. But anyway, we have got them sold, and we're now up to $140,000. We're going to go and take our baler back, and we're going to buy, with that, a mower and a... Right, great. I don't want that one. I want to shove that one away out of the way completely. And then I want to bring that one back round there. And bring that sort of go across the, the, the pallet thing like this. And we'll go... Oh, no. Wait. Stop loading. There. Right. That's where I want it. I'll bring that back over this way a little bit. If I put it diagonally across, is that going to work? That sort of worked. That has sort of worked. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I think it will suffice for now. It should get most of those pallets covered, and that means that we've at least got something happening with them. I'm reasonably happy with that. We'll bring the trailer down here, and we will stop that one right there. Unhitch you right there like that, and we'll get rid of that. 
So next up, we've got the baler over here, and I want to take this one back to the dealership. We can turn that off at 30 times speed now. Um, let me have a look at the map. So silage we did really well with, and wool we've not done too bad with either. So we, next time, we need the silage to be above. We know that it will go above 300, so we definitely want to wait for it to go above 300 again next time. I want to take that out over there, but before I do that, I wanted to go this way and I want to have a look at growth. We are ready to start mowing. The grass is ready, which means that we can go and actually start mowing now. We've got our entire field ready to roll. All we got to do is get this one to the dealership, get the new baler and the new mower as well. Remember, we've got to get a new mower along with this one. And we can get back up here. We can do... We go twice around the outside of the field. So we've got the front mower and the side mower. Twice round with that on. That's going to give us a good uh, wide cut all the way round. And we'll do the same around the rock as well. We'll cut a little bit out around that one. And, you know, I might even just leave that and not do it. And we'll let the tractor decide how it's going to do its turn. And then we'll see afterwards whether or not it was reasonably tidy. Um... Then we can get going with the rest of it. And most importantly, we see how many bales we got. Because uh, how many bales did we sell? I don't remember how many we sold. We sold a few. We sold 30 on the full trailer. And then we had another lot, which I think was another 15. We had 40 to 45 bales. I can't remember exactly how many. But there's definitely going to be quite a few more this next time round. And um, so... Well, we're looking at maybe another 50% bale. So we could be looking at 60 bales in total. Uh, the 60 bales, if we're getting $300 per thousand liters, I mean, roughly, we could be, very roughly, if we called it $1,000 a bale, and we know that it's actually quite a bit more than that. It's more like $1,100 a bale. Um, maybe even as much as $1,200 a bale. I don't think it's quite 1200 what are we what are we getting 300 per thousand liters that is actually 1200 per bale isn't it okay call it 1200 per bale 60 times 1200 is 60,000 and then a fifth of that is another 72,500 roughly 72,000 dollars roughly we're looking at it's not gonna be 500 is it where do i get 500 from so I said a fifth. It was a fifth. 1,200. 60 times the 12. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused myself. 70, not 75,000. 74,000. $74,000. So that there. Yeah, I did confuse myself. Okay, so $74,000 that we get for that field. I'm, I'm bouncing all over the place with this particular run. Um, $74,000 worth of bales. Yes, we're about to go and spend a bit of money, but I'm hoping that that plus maybe a little bit more wool. Oh, no, we've, we've sold all the wool now. It depends how we, we do with the grass cutting and whether the silage starts reducing in price. We might be able to just immediately sell the whole lot, in which case we sell it straight off the fields. Uh, we'll be approaching the $200,000 mark. And then once we've approached the $200,000 mark, we will make sure we were talking about doing a bit of hay but we don't need to yet we'll be able to leave that for another cut we don't have to do it immediately um so we'll be able to wait until we've had one more cut before we go and do a little bit of hay so we'll be able to maximize the profit this first time round, and then we'll um we'll cut down a few more trees things like that that's going to get us a little bit more money as well uh I don't think it's going to be all that long before we're ready to buy our Ponzi Scorpion. So let me unhitch that bad boy right there. I'll bring you over to there like that. And I run back through. And then I sell for 39800 So $40,000 for that baler right there. A fraction under. I do need to go and spend 81000 So it's going to push us back down below the crucial 100,000 that we've just broken it's, it's nice having a hundred thousand dollars just sat there staring at us it's absolutely beautiful it really is it's a thing of absolute beauty 
by Stevie. This is the one that we want. So first up, we want to change the foil color to black. And then we want the extension on here to take us up to 8,000 uh, 8, liters of bale. So we're doing bigger bales on this one. And we buy for 81,000. Yes, I definitely want to do that. Okay, back and back again. And then we go to our mowers. That one there is 3.1 meters. This one over here is 3.2 slightly wider it means that there'll be a slight overlap on one side but it sticks out a little tiny fraction a bit more on the other side it is an extra thousand but i definitely think we should go with this one partly because the lately and the coon at least we got the color matching i you know i think it's going to look a little bit better just tiny tiny fraction cooler so we'll go with that one i'll buy that one there yes twenty thousand dollars okay back and back again and i just want to go to the garage 8,800 if we sell this Deutz tractor. Oops, I need to do that. I want to have a look at the tractors in here. Oh, I'm going to be over here, look. I'm going to go there. And our tractor that we've got at the moment is the... It's in the small tractors. Now, that one there is 98,000. That's 170 horsepower at the minimum size. That one's 102,000. We only get about eight, or about 10 grand if we sell our tractor. So we don't quite have enough to do an upgrade there. But we're going to small tractors. This is the one that we've got, is that one right there. It's uh, 143. We've actually got ours with the. No, it's not that one. Wrong one. It's that one. We've actually got ours, the configuration. Nope. Uh, engine setup right there. Ours is 143 horsepower with the bigger engine on it. So we've got some options for upgraded tractors over here. We could go with something like the armor track right there or the fence. Um, that's uh, like 110. But I don't really want to do it from these tractors here. I'd want to go into the medium tractors. You've got the T6 there. That's 125. That one's 170. The case over here. Right, yes, this is a slow one, a bit like the one that we've got, which is not great. But, I mean, if we go there and we spend 150000 we get a 260 horsepower tractor. It's going to be the cheapest one at that kind of range that we'd be able to get. Right, so, you look at all of these others. 180000 there. It's 165 horsepower. Um, the case over here, we, we've got the John Deere, the 6R. That's 280. Starting to get a bit bigger up here, but we're looking at 185000 for that. The case over here, go for the big engine, is 150,000. So that would be a nice upgrade there, that tractor. Um, but it's going to be almost all of our money. And this is money that we don't currently have. How is the prices doing? Are they... That's already plummeted. It's changed because it, it waits a while and it's changed because we've sold all that silage. It's not, like, risen or lowered, so... Silage, we're not going to be making that kind of money for a little while. So the next lot of silage that we do is going to be silage that is kept. It's just going to be put back to the side and stored and then it will eventually come through. So a new baler, uh, sorry, a new tractor would be nice. But that's going to use up a big chunk of money. That, unfortunately, we don't have at the moment. But what we do have is we've got our new baler. We've got our new mower. And we do have a tractor that works, so we don't, we don't you know, we don't need a new tractor. Um, yes, it would be very nice to go and buy a new tractor, but we're not going to worry about it today. I want to get this one back, and then as soon as it's back, we get that mower running. We'll unhitch the baler, and we will get the mower running. And I think I've already done this trip this week, so I'm just going to do this myself a minute um, and not make you actually watch all of this one. Certainly struggling on the hill here, getting up through with this. I mean, it's doing it, but it is a little bit of a struggle. Poor thing. Doesn't seem to quite be able to do it. So, I think that perhaps that case is going to be the next tractor that we go for, at least at the moment. But I still want to get the Ponzi Scorpion. I want to save up and I want to get the Ponzi Scorpion. I've spent the money on the extra mower and have spent the money on the bigger capacity baler which i'm hoping will help us along speed things up a little bit um but after this we kind of want to knuckle down and just concentrate on earning piles and piles of money 
Uh, the two ways that we're going to do that is we're going to be doing a few harvests of silage. And right now, we don't have an option to go selling silage bales. So what we may very well end up doing before we finish all of this, but the way that we can just cruise right back in like that. We'll leave this brand new one right here like that. And then I'll bring that back round. I'll unfold this one like that. And I'll come back and I will pick up this mower over here I'll bring that one out and I'll start unfolding that one there we go so now we've got a double mower we've got two mowers that we're able to use that's more like it look at that that's much better so we start that one up and I start that one up and then I go control V and that lowers them both down one after the other like that and then I just start going around the field. And look at the big wide width that we're cutting. It's not like a, you know, it's, it's not massive compared to the bit on the side. Because the, the side cut is, what's that? It's a four meter cut, isn't it? Something like that. It's quite big anyway. Um, but yeah, it's still a nice improvement being able to run around the field like this. And we do miss a little bit on the corners. We know that that's something that happens with these types of mowers anyway there's something that we will live with we don't mind we can we'll just put up with it so this one cut here I'm not going to do hay on this one i will do another all silage i think hang on let me uh look in here and grass hay Ooh, maybe i should do it maybe i should do some hay on this we'll see We'll get, we'll, we'll do all the way round, and then I'll do maybe the outside four rounds of just ordinary silage, and and then after that we'll have a look at it. So we might actually seriously consider doing a cut of a, a part cut of hay, and then storing the bales back. We just put the bale, we'll lay, we'll lay the bales out, we'll lay them out, and we won't actually. Um, do anything else with them we'll just we'll just leave them out on the side of the field we don't need to put them under cover round bales remember you can store round bales outside and yes you do lose a little bit of the material from the outside of the bale but overall it's not too bad right it does actually keep them now the tractor's not going quite as fast as it could do i don't think it might be that the mower itself could do with a bit of repair work. I can't remember if 12 miles an hour is the normal top speed. Or if it's slightly faster than that. But we'll find out. Um, actually, I'm wondering if I should go over to the workshop. Maybe we should do a little bit quick repair on it. Just to have a look. Oh no, there is an easier way. There is an easier way. We just go here. We go to garage and we go up through and we click on that one. And it says 13 miles an hour. And that one is also 13 miles an hour. So we go back to mowing again. And it was doing 12. Yeah. That's that's actually running at full speed. Right? It's, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction back from full speed. So what I do here is I press, uh, not control C, I didn't want to do that. Um, I press control V and it will lift the front one up and then it will lift the back one up. And then we can back out round like that, come up through and then control V like that. It lowers that one and then in goes the back one as well. And so you have a nice controlled raising and lowering of the mowers as you go through. And I could do the same on here, except I'm not going to. I'm just going to inch it round like that a little bit. Bring that through like that. I don't mind that it's not really going right into everything there. And then bring that one in across. And go up this little steep bit. This is the only, As this is the only steep bit that we've got, we don't need to worry too much about the horsepower of the tractor at the moment. Once we get up into the rest of the field, though, well, on, the, on the new bit of field in, that we've got up the top there, I suppose I should have lifted the mower then, um, then we are going to have to worry about the horsepower of the tractor because we're not going to be able to go... All, we're not going to be able to go up and down that hill with this tractor. 
it's, it's just not going to cope with it, right? It's, it's absolutely not going to be able to deal with it. And right there, I think we will use that as a, a beautiful little picture of our tractor at work. Should also be noted that if I'm facing that way, I'm not getting any lag or anything at all. But if I turn it around to that way, it goes to exactly 30 frames a second. I don't know what it is about Farming Simulator, but if you start to get lag it always seems to drop to exactly 30 frames a second i don't know what it is about 30 whether there's something that's going on in the background that then cuts the frame rate down to a preset number it might be i think i've got v-sync on so it might be something to do with the v-sync um because it might if, if i've got v-sync set on here then it will be set to 60 i always set it to 60 um, so whether there's something to do with that going on, um, I don't think you you get lag from watching this. But I have had the odd report that um, the the game the sound goes out of sync every now and then, like uh, just on one or two of these episodes. And it's not like a major thing, but I am wondering if that's anything to do with the lag. Um, whether that's also causing a slight issue with the um, stuff going out of sync. So I might have to try recording this a different way. Uh, so just keep me updated on any of the videos. If the sound ever does go out of sync, make sure you let me know because um, I can't go through and listen to all of the videos. I do try to pick up on these things, but I don't always notice it. So if I don't, and it's gone out through, um, well, it's gone out. If, if I have noticed it, I usually like just at least stick a subtitle in to say, look, I'm aware of it. I'm really sorry. I'll, I'm, I'm working on it. That sort of thing. Um, so if you do notice it, please, by all means, say in the comment section that there is a slight issue with it. And we are fast approaching the end of this episode, but we're also fast approaching the end of our first two rounds on the field. I'm going to leave going around that rock. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go around it at all. I'm just going to leave it exactly as it is. So I will go there and control V. That's lifted them both up out of the way. And then I can back around like that. Is that lowering? Yeah, it is. For a minute there, I thought it wasn't actually lowering in properly. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I didn't think it was. Um, and we'll get up to this side. But yeah, we have run out of time for today's episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Just before I go, I will see if the hired help is going to behave itself on one trip up across the field up here. As long as it does, then we'll be in business for our next episode. We will watch the tractor a little bit. And then my plan is for us to go and cut down a few trees while we leave the hired help to finish off doing this field. So I'm just going to go to there and I'm going to press H. He's going to straighten himself out a little bit. Just like that. Straighten up, fly right. And he should go all the way up to the other end of the field so long as no tree stumps get caught up and cause any issues. It's only if tree stumps... Uh, along here somewhere that we have any issues with it. And you'll lift up that mower and then you'll keep going. You might put the mower back down again in a minute. Oh no, the grass hasn't come out far enough. So you'll just keep going up through here and I'm hoping that that one, looking at it, it will go all the way up to the other end so long as there's no tree stump in his way. Buried under the ground using his special radar system that he uses to find out whether they're there. And he's doing that thing. Right, this thing. I absolutely don't get it why it does that. Right, you could. You can see there's a bit there. He's really struggling with this. He's genuinely struggling with this. Just go forward a little bit more and you might be you might be able to do it. It's, it's, it's just slightly wrong. No, nope, he's thinking about this. Come on. You, you can do this. I've got complete and total faith in it. Actually, I don't. I've got no faith in it whatsoever. He's... What is wrong with you? Why does the game make it do that? Right? There's a very strange thing that it does right here. 
And the game definitely makes it do this. Right, I'll bring that forward again and I'll try that. No, it's still mowing it. It's still... You know what? You know what? You, you've, you've, you've lost all privileges. You've just lost all privileges, including anything resembling a job. There was a little bit right there. So all you needed to do so that I didn't look bad and then... You know, carry on, turn around and just, just just carry on up across the field. That's all you had to do. One job. That's all you had. It was one job. You couldn't even do that. Pack your bags and leave. Go on, just pack your bags and leave. Right, I'm going to bring that one to there. And I'm going to press H. I'm going to let it go in. And then we'll put that one down. And it will go up across as well. And this time it should be all right. Right, now it's fine. It's, it's not quite overlapping where it should be. But anyway... As we have, I, I now really do have to go. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Fritgar. Goodbye, and see you later.